Hello, everyone. Welcome to Agile World. And again, we will talk about wellness and psychological safety. We were talking about many things, and I mentioned many times that uh, saying thank you and being grateful is one of the strongest tools to bring psychological safety to your team. However, it's the most simple and boring thing because when we were small kids with you, they were teaching us on how to be thankful. And uh, they sometimes were a bit too peach, pushy, saying, you need to say thank you to that uncle. You need to say thank you for this and for that. And that is why sometimes we are like, okay, now I'm adult. Maybe I shouldn't do that all the time and too much. And sometimes we are quite resistant to being grateful. And uh, among everything, sometimes we have problems to actually um, accept gratitude and actually to be happy because somebody is grateful and saying thankful to us. Some people, the dramatically cannot uh, receive gratitude. For them, it's very difficult. So let's talk about the power of thank you and what we can do with that in the team. So first of all, we need to understand that there are different ways how to say thank you. And some ways just don't work. Um, the best way to say thank you is is uh, to use the name of the person. That's one of the sounds which make uh, us very happy. We like listening, hearing our names. So the message is, po uh, is positive. So just instead of thank you, you can get say, thank you, John, and it will be more powerful. Secondly, you need to say, what are you thankful for? Of course, we can just send quick thank you messages and they're also fine. But if you really want to help somebody from like the bottom of your heart, if you really want to, you know, invest into psychological safety, you need to say, what are you thankful for? For example, John, thank you so much for being so passionate about the project. John, thank you so much for being resilient and strong in these times of crisis. John, thank you so much for being there in our team and really motivating everybody to do better. So you say the name, you say thank you, and you also specify what are you thankful for. It makes it much more personal and much stronger. Also, sometimes we tend to actually appreciate people and uh, create compliments instead of thanking them. Look, uh, I have some examples for you. You can say, John, you are so intelligent. Your ideas are so disruptive. We can say, John, you are so responsive. Responsible. Uh, or you can say, John, your sense of humor is so great. This is nice to hear, isn't it? This appreciations, this compliments. But at the same time, from social anthropological point of view, if we analyze it this way, then the one who um, appreciates another person and says he's smart, intelligent, humorous, he positioned himself slightly higher because it is you who estimate another person. This is you who decides that the person is smart enough, fun enough, uh, good enough. And instead of, you know, having this hierarchy, you can convert these messages into same level messages where you do not estimate and you don't judge, but you connect to a person for, uh, and you are thankful for he's having a certain skill or ability. So you say, instead of John, you're so smart and intelligent, you say, John, thank you so much for really sharing your smart expertise and bringing value to our product. Instead of saying, John, you're, you're so you know, such such a fun person. You can say, John, thank you so much for adding such a positive vibe to our interaction within the team. Instead of saying, John, uh, you are a superhero. You well, you can do this. It sounds quite cool, isn't it? As well, but I will tell you why you have to be, to be accurate with that. You can say, John, thank you so much for contributing to mutual work with your superpowers. So thank you means that there is a recipient of the thank you and there is the one who sends thank you. And then, you know, there is some invisible connection without them. And when you just say you are smart, you are cool, you position uh, yourself higher. It doesn't mean you cannot just say to somebody, hey, you're so cool, man. 
Why not? But if you really consciously want to build a psychological safety, you better, in most of the cases, convert it to thank you messages. Why? Because when you just send the appreciation messages and the applauses, uh, people, uh, they get very dependent on them. So these things, they are like drugs. Let's say in uh, childhood, when mom or dad were saying, oh, wow, what is a fantastic work. Your drawing is amazing. Oh, wow, you're so smart. You, 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 you got 10 points out of 10 points in your side. Oh, you're so beautiful in this dress and so on. When a parent stops sending this, you know, applause messages to the kid, the kid may think, oh, my mom didn't say anything about my dress. Oh, my dad didn't say anything about my great results. Oh, my grandmother, she didn't say anything about how, I don't know, smart I am, which means I'm not good enough anymore. I'm not beautiful. I'm not smart. And I'm not a good person. I'm not a good uh, pupil. You know, we become very dependent from the bravo, from all these messages, how great, how beautiful and how how smart and strong we are and when people forget to say it or when they just don't think that we need it or just they you know they're greedy and they don't want to to say it or they're just in bad mood and they don't care what to say we're like okay something is wrong with me you have to be very accurate with that also with with your kids if you're a parent but also with people you work so because when you it's you know it's just it's like a carrot you give it to the rabbit once you give it twice the rabbit is expecting you to get the carrot and then suddenly you stop giving the carrot and the rabbit is thinking i'm a bad rabbit you know something went wrong i'm not receiving the carrot um uh, like i used to do all the time but with thankfulness and with gratitude this is not a drug this is more safe when we have psychological research and we have uh, research based on neurophysiology, what happens in the brain. It's more neutral, it's more safe. You know, there cannot be too much of thank you, but there can be too much of the appreciation messages, you know, because when there are too many appreciate, oh, you're so fantastic, oh, you're so great. You know, a person can become very like, you know, suspicious, like why, why are they doing this to me? Maybe there is, it's a joke. Maybe this is not what they mean. Maybe there's some skepsis, something between the line. With gratitude, if it goes um, from your heart, if it's formulated in the right way, it cannot be too much. You know, it, 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 it's really a much better and convenient for the both parts version on how to connect. So, um, Gratitude is something which can really boost your uh, psychological safety. But if the environment is not, you know, thank you friendly, what you can do, you can start sending thank you messages. You can write them in Jira when you finish the task. You can write them in Slack, in personal public messages in the channel. You can start the meetings by thanking people. But there is always, if you are having the group of people, and let's say 10 people, you either, uh, if you want, you know, to thank thank for special achievement, you just uh, thank uh, a couple of them. And then you thank everybody. So everybody th uh, feels he's included. Or if you have more people, be accurate. So it's not like uh, eight people are being recognized and two people are left out. Yeah, you cannot be the majority. Yeah, you uh, either think then everybody 10 people out of 10 and you pronounce their name and you say for what or it's just highlights of all the people and then you say thanks to everybody but it's never the majority imagine you you think uh, nine people uh, out of 10 and the one people will be very demotivated disengaged and his toxic thing and he is not feeling safety then can be very contagious to everybody so you would have an opposite thing also be accurate uh, with gratitude which is public you know, you know, do it strategically, analyze when you appreciate who, so that it's not that you all only appraise and say thank you, good words to one, and others feel that they're not valued. Um, and um, with personal gratitude, it's quite easier on one-on-one -on -one, uh, meetings, you can do that. And as I say, Almost there cannot be too much. Of course, you can be obsessed then and say a million of times, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But even with that, it's uh, it's not so dangerous to fail here in this area. So what else about thank you? Uh, start thinking, start feeling gratitude. 
Uh, and when they thank you, be open, thank them for being thankful. You know, it sounds weird, but say that um, they're saying something good to you and they say, thank you. It's very pleasant. Thank you. I feel, I feel very happy that you like it. Thank you. Uh, your words are very important to me. They very support me. Thank you for thanking me. Um, I really feel good now. And I really like that you like my job. So be thankful for, for people being thankful and think, you know, who can you think to uh, thank today? You know, who is that? Somebody is really trying hard. Somebody who does something with all his heart, somebody who's really bringing value, somebody who is just a great person to be and contributes to the team and create an action plan. Uh, you have an early morning meeting with this John, you thank him, you have a lunch with that guy, thank him. Be generous, thank people who really maybe were not thanked as much as they should be. You can do it verbally, you can also write it. Of course, human connection in saying it to a person looking into his eyes works better, but the written form is okay as well. And then uh, if you want to create the habit, end of the day, um, think like uh, who are the three people I can thank today uh, or what are the three things in life which I am thankful for. And, you know, sometimes we also need to learn to be thankful to ourselves. So you can also have the practice on regular basis before going to sleep, asking what are the three things I'm thankful to myself today? Maybe because you did something, maybe because you have managed your emotion, maybe just because you, you were great and you were a rock star. So learn to be thankful to yourself as well, because it's very rewarding. And when we reward the brain for doing things, the brain wants to do more. More, and then everybody um, is uh, is a winner. So, guys, more thank you messages. Being thankful to yourself, to the people who are working and living with you, and to the world as such. Sometimes, when we are under stress, we are not having psychological uh, safety. We just need to really put on paper what are the things which work what are the things which are okay and what were the things we're thankful for i think thankful for internet for still working and thankful for water being available and i'm thankful to people who are interacting with me and helping me to drive the process and so on so on thank you so much for your attention thank you uh, for reflecting and thank you in advance for your action plan and adding a little bit of more gratitude to your team and to the world. Bye-bye. Have a nice day and see you soon.